camper update. I think I made something work right there. So apparently we were pulling water around the vent. So that might have been one of the reasons why I was getting a leak on the backside because it's holding water here. And then it was draining underneath of this, the shower area. So it was just pouring water that way. So maybe I fixed that part. Looks like we were puddling some water underneath of here. And then there was a hole right there. But check that out. It, I mean, for a makeshift vent uh, cover, I think it worked uh, for a little bit. That sealant, whatever you call it, a cool, whatever, uh, roof tar is really nice. Like it, it beads up. It doesn't let anything in. There's some cracks still, like right here. Um, not big cracks. I think it's just where it's separated or something like that uh, while it was dripping inside of the crack. But it definitely needs another coat. But I think I might not have any leaks now. Of course, I won't be able to tell like instantly. But I will say that feels drier. Uh, and before this would feel very wet right through there. So, oh yeah. Of course, I did a little bit of drippage. And uh, yeah, so I think I did catch the leak because this is not wet. This was wet uh, almost instantly as soon as it got, uh, as soon as it rained. It does look like we have sagged a little bit, so that's not great. Uh, but it's the shower room, so I'll fix that. And then this was our staining that we, we figured out, hey, we do have a problem. And over there uh, where it, it's coming on this side of the vent, that's where that little dip was at right through here. So it could have been coming from that way and just going across. Now that might have made you all dizzy, but that's the thing. So I'm just hoping that it did not mess that up um, because it does look a little bubbled on that one side. So I really don't want to take that all back out and redo it again. But if I have to, I will. But the covers did come in. So these are the new ones. Now I have to take all that crap back out and put these plastic ones on it we ordered um a little magnet latch for the door i don't know this might not work this might i'm hoping it will work and to give those old red and yellow or amber lights an update i bought some smoky clear ones so i thought that would give it kind of a cool look and to match these ugly big uh red lights i mean it's on the massive uh bigger side but yeah so yeah, we'll give it a little update. And these are super thin. You can see the comparison here. I mean, that one over there is busted. It's the reason why we have to replace them. At least I don't have to worry about nothing hitting it. So yeah, that's the update.